tell the story about Les Brown. How'd you meet him? I was uh, giving a speech in Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> right. Our normal business presentation, 8 o'clock at night in the Holiday Inn. And I didn't know it, but Les was working there as a sanitation engineer. <laughs> which means you clean the rooms and the, swap out the toilets. <laughs> and I was ranting and raving and speaking, and Les happened to be walking by, and he stopped to listen. And I was ranting and raving about the fact that your rights are yours by virtue of birth. You need no one to do that. You need no one to give them to you. And the heritage of this country is the people who have created a better life for themselves through entrepreneurism, through personal effort, through responsibility, and they had a lot of people had gotten rich and have a right to get rich. And it was no different today. You have the same rights they had if you have the courage to get up off your knees and take a step forward for an honest dollar. Come on. Less hurt that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know. So he, in order to start at the top, you need $3,500. Right. You buy $5,000 or so. He left didn't have the money. As he put it, when he passed the bank, he was a broke the alarm went off. <laughs> <laughs> so he got his friend Bob Boyd and got Boyd to co-sign. Wow. And $5,000 worth of soap land in his <laughs> living room. His wife almost divorced him. <laughs> but that was the beginning of Les making a couple million dollars a year. Yeah, he told me when I made him not longer, he said, that was $53 million ago. He said, when I first heard Bill Bailey, I thought he's going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> I was but, you, younger. but you were giving out bonus checks. Wait, that was unheard of. Five thousand uh, dollars up to thirty thousand. <laughs> they range. You hear from, that, John? <laughs> they range from three thousand to thirty thousand, uh, depending on what volume you did during the year. Interesting thing. I announced that. And in the fourth year, our business was just getting cranked pretty good. And I told them I was going to take 20% of the company profit before taxes. Give back in the form of bonuses spread out based on the volume from 3000 up to 30000 Most people listening to you won't look you in the face and say, I don't believe you. I think you're lying. But the fact is, there's an element of doubt in their mind. Mm. We talk again about fear, well, I could never get that. So they don't do anything about it. Right. So the first year, uh, the bonuses was a quarter million dollars, 250000 I passed out checks in front of 2,000 people in Philadelphia. Hmm. Now, they saw those checks. <laughs> they saw people get $12,000. A school teacher, a black will school will teacher like in, uh, out of New York, it, got a check for $9,000. And his speech went something like, he said, well, this $9,000, he couldn't speak very well. He said, this $9,000 represents uh, three, uh, uh, three months' work in best life. <laughs> well, everybody was just, they fell asleep. <laughs> so all of a sudden, you now have normal proof. Right. Four years later, in front of 10,000 people, almost 12,000 people in the we had our annual conventions in February because that's when it gets cold mm -hmm. in New York. That's when everybody wants to go to right. Florida anyway. Right. So we put together a contest for if you did so much, you get this much and free and blah, blah, blah. And the same percentage four years later was $4.3 million. Mm -hmm. That's the result of believing and not believing. Mm. Wow. Nothing else changed. Wow. So, folks, you better believe it That's and do take action.